I'm going to show you an example in a moment of this in action. But basically, if you want to have, let's say, an image and then the user hovers over it and then the image changes or, you know, disappears or whatever, then you can do that super, super simple with a little bit of CSS. Now, it was a lot more difficult before Squarespace brought out Fluid Engine, but now that they've done that, it's made it super, super easy. So I'll show you the example, then I'll show you how to do it, and then I'll show you that in action. Okay, so you join me here on Squarespace's, uh, what was it called, the Super Bowl ad website. I thought this would be quite cool to do. So if we click into edit, we can see that this is an image block. So this is one image block. Now, if we duplicate this and we want to show something else, we would just hit duplicate and that is going to sit on top of there. Okay, easy. Now, obviously we're going to want to change that image. So to get to the image below, we just move this to the side so we can actually select the other image. And then we're going to change this to, I don't know, let's, let's do another alien. Okay, so what I've done is I've just grabbed an alien picture from Canva and I'll upload that now. I mean, it looks terrible, but it will show you what I mean. So, upload. Okay, so now we have our other, our other alien there. So we'll drag that down and then we'll make sure that he is back in the middle. Now we can actually see it behind here. So what I'm going to do is just make this guy much bigger so, so we can't see the other one in the background so let's make that a little bit bigger 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 anyway that'll do you get the gist so basically now we want to hide this guy and show the other alien uh, when we hover over it so all we need to do is grab the block id of this image so what we do is we use squarespace id finder link to that will be below and then what you want to do is grab the block ID of whatever the image is. Let's see, I think it's this one. And then we go into website. And then we're going to go website tools and custom CSS. Now in here, we're going to paste our block ID. And then we're going to say brackets. And then we'll put a transition. I'll put in two seconds. And then we will say and hover so when the user hovers over it we're going to turn the opacity down to zero so opacity zero uh do we need importance no nope, we don't even need importance so save that and then when we hover over the image you can see it disappears <laughs> and this <laughs> this other alien appears so let's just make that a little bit bigger and we can see it in its full glory Maybe I shouldn't have cropped the feet off. Maybe it could have looked even cooler. But anyway, you get the gist. When we hover, the image is, you know, hidden and the image beneath can be shown. And I told you that I was going to show you an example of this. So if we go to truantlondon.com, which is a client of mine, and then we go to the about page, we can see everyone's got this hover effect. So you go from an image to a dancing gif maybe on the bigger one this is a better way of showing it we go image and then when we hover it shows the dancing gif which is sat underneath each one and then there's also a bit of custom code to bring up the uh, the text as well but you can see how this would work on something that you know isn't aliens um, and you can do this on any sort of image as long as it's well it doesn't even have to be an image block because we're using the block id if you want to hover over a block and have something underneath shown then you can do it most of the time it's going to be images though so this is an example of it in the wild hopefully that strange example with aliens makes sense the code will be in a blog post in the description so hopefully you found that useful and if you did please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe and if you're made to build your squarespace website like i did for truant then you can get in touch using the links in the description